So having got the upgrade to the 2.5S finally working, we're on to the final part of the upgrade, which is uh, to silence the old uh, stepper motors by fitting the Trinamic stepper drivers on the XMI uh, motors. And um, that basically involves eight wires coming out of this uh, new board to be soldered onto the back of the uh, existing controller by following these uh, perfectly clear instructions. Okay, so I think we're going to put a little bit of hot glue in here to uh, stop things moving around. Okay, okay. right. Okay, this uh, little micro tip is not uh, capable of heating the ground and 5 volt rails here, so we're going to have to change the tip. Right, and so we have better luck with this slightly more meaty. Um, yep, that's a lot better. Oh, yes. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I think another little drop of blue just underneath there. Okay, so there's his, this is mine. I kind of like mine better. If it works, of course, at the end of the day. Okay, now I gotta get this back into the controller and gradually start putting everything back together. Here's a lovely piece of design. We have a lovely big lump of plastic here and the uh, M3 goes in down underneath here. So, what fun. So you see I have a loop of wire here that I would really prefer not to have, but uh, yeah, it was have a nice uh, clean soldering job inside here and risk a loop or I'll cut the cable really short and then make a mess of the soldering. <laughs> so uh, we will run with this, methinks. So here we are with the Trinamics. I need two of these guys. And they're heating. So these are these little modern miracles of technology that can drive a stepper motor without making any sound. 
And so the one slight little challenge I'm going to face with this is you have to set up a reference voltage which is on this little tiny pin here and then there's a really miniature 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 micro miniature trim pot that you use to adjust it and so I got to sort out something that I can get in there and turn that uh, before I go anywhere else. So they go in this way around. They're about the same, I assume. Yep. Yeah. Right, so there we go. So when I put it back together, it's the X and Y motors, instead of connecting into the controller directly here, they connect in here. Okay, the rest of it happens back on the actual printer itself. And so I won't bother videoing all the putting this back in, putting all these bloody cables back in, which will take a little forever. But I'll come back when we're at the point ready to uh, set the VRF, uh, by which time hopefully we'll have switched it on and nothing will have gone boom. <laughs> back soon. Right, I think that's most of the uh, surgery done for today. I've wired up the uh, power supply to the new module. Everything's hooked up the way I believe it ought to be and I've left the lid off for setting up the reference voltage on the uh, stepper drivers. As ever, it's a long day and that'll do me for now, I think. And so we'll call it quits. I'll go have some dinner and tomorrow I will check everything again before I electric enable and then hopefully we can do the final setup and we're done. So I couldn't come up with a way of videoing how I set up the reference voltage. Um, so I'll explain it to you. <laughs> I just disconnected the fan to find a ground and connected that up to the uh, multimeter. Uh, and then with the positive one, I put it on the reference point. And while holding it there with my other hand, I then used a little micro miniature screwdriver in here to tweak the pot. And they're both now set. They were both at originally 1.4 volts and as per the drawing, uh, the instructions, they are now set to 0.81 or very very close. So we will put, bolt it all up and see if the thing still works. Uh, just so you can hear how quiet the motors are, I'll just do the, the, me the mesh bed leveling test uh, which will move the X and Y. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? Compared to the noise before. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to give it, call this a wrap. I uh, hope you found some of it interesting and you managed to follow along a little bit. And uh, as I say, if you're interested in doing these upgrades, the 2.5 one, yeah, if you don't screw up like I did, <laughs> it works fine. And this additional one with the Trinamics is definitely well worth considering as well. If you're okay with, you know, doing a little bit of soldering on the controller board and so on. So, that's it guys. Uh, more to come uh, sometime soon, I hope. Cheers, bye.